Hey, hey, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. My name is Chelsea, and I make all sorts of videos here on YouTube. I focus a lot on infertility support, as well as vlogging just my life as a working mom to a new baby girl. Her name is Ray, and we did conceive her through IVF, and she's about three months old now. So anyway, if you are interested to tag along on my journey here on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when I update and post a new video. So today's video has been a long time coming. I've had a lot of requests for this and I'm sure you can tell by the title that I'm gonna be discussing what I actually used in my hospital bag. And this is an exciting video because I'm doing it in collaboration with Life With Lo. She has a YouTube channel here on YouTube, obviously. And um, she will be doing what was in her hospital bag um, and what she actually used. And she, if you guys aren't already following her, go ahead and head over to her channel and subscribe. Follow her as well. She has twin boys. She actually did IVF as well, like the same time I did, this time last year. Um, she transferred one embryo like I did, but her embryo split into twins. Twin boys, they're so cute. Um, and her gender reveal is so cute. You have to watch that video as well. I will link it down below because it's like a surprise. People didn't know that she was having twins. So I love that video. So anyway, she does a ton of different types of videos on her channel. And um, she's also got a bunch documenting her IVF journey. So because I know a lot of you are still either going through IVF or about to do IVF, um, I love collaborating with people like her because it just broadens the amount of support that people that follow me um, can get because I know a lot of you guys, you know, are still in the process of doing IVF or going through infertility or whatever. So I want to give you as much support as possible and part of that is um, teaming up with other people that can share their experience with IVF and infertility as well. So if you are excited to see what I actually used in my hospital bag, go ahead and keep watching. For those of you who might be new here, I had a C-section. I did not plan to have a C-section, but I went in, got induced, um, just was not progressing and had a pretty rough 36 hours of labor. So <laughs> that ended in a C-section. But um, you can hear my whole story on that, um, I will link a video up here as well as down below, as well as the vlog um, that tells, like, that actually shows the whole birth experience. Um, and you guys can see what that actually entails. So, because I had a C section, um, I'm not sure how much that played into effect of me actually using the items or not using the items that I brought. Um, like, I don't know if it would have been different if I would have just had a vaginal birth, but this is what I actually used. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just play the video over here and I will be watching it on my phone <laughs> and I'm going to comment as we go along and watch this video. I'm going to speed through it because we don't have time to watch that whole video, but, uh, yeah, let's check it out. Let's see what I brought and let's see what I actually use. So of course in this video, in the beginning, I go ahead and explain that I'm not an overpacker and I'm not, I don't ever claim to be an overpacker. If anything, I feel like I'm an underpacker on trips, but we'll see if I overpacked for this hospital stay. So to start out, I have my toiletry bags. So I just have two here and in here I, okay, I'll let you know right there that that was too, mu too many toiletries. <laughs> um, Maybe if I would have just brought one bigger, slightly bigger bag, that would have been fine. But I do know that I brought too many toiletries. I'm packing for my husband, Eric. Um, he can pack whatever he wants. Other than that, um, we live like 90 seconds away from our hospital. So we are going to be just fine if he needs to come home and get anything. I don't even know how much he'll pack. He might just come home and shower and stuff. So anyway, I've got all sorts of other... I have like a little travel razor, um, shampoo, conditioner, some lotion, Q-tips. Okay, so I did use the shampoo and conditioner. That was nice to have. I took two showers while I was there because I, I went in on a Friday night, 
was induced, had Ray Sunday morning through C-section, and then we left Wednesday morning. So I took two showers while I was there, so that was very nice to have the shampoo and conditioner. Um, I didn't use the razor, even though I kind of wanted to, but you can't bend over and shave your legs when <laughs> you've had a C-section. You just can't. So I couldn't shave my legs, even though I like really kind of wanted to, because I just felt gross. But yeah, did not use that razor. Bags of toiletries and skincare, contact solution. Um, I have this nipple butter. I did use the nipple butter. Yes, that was very nice when you're first breastfeeding. Nipple butter is very nice. Those mints were awesome to have. You want those. Um, I've got like two different, I have like Vaseline and Aquaphor. Um, okay, this was the first time I've ever used Aquaphor and now I'm addicted to it. That stuff is amazing and I loved having it in the hospital because yes, your lips do get so dry and I felt like I was either asking Eric to hand me chapstick or hand me ice like throughout all of labor. And then I am bringing, um, I won't show this cause I don't really have it packed yet because it's on my list of last minute things to grab before we go to the hospital. Um, it's just like a little tiny makeup bag and I'll have, um, just a little concealer, mascara, blush, and an eyelash curler. And that should be it. Okay. Didn't use any of that makeup except an eyelash curler. That was nice to have. Um, I also need to grab a brush and like a pick because I'll probably wash my hair, but I'm not gonna like blow dry it or anything while I'm there. I'm just gonna let it air dry. Probably put it in a, a bun or a, like braid or something. So yeah, I would not have used a blow dryer if I would have brought it. So I'm glad I didn't bring one. Um, I just let my hair air dry. Didn't need any sort of like heat styling tools. I'll also be bringing these um, flip flops. I just got these at Target. I think they were four or five bucks. Um, that will be for the shower or if I feel like walking around the hospital. Yes, flip-flops I did use in the shower and I was glad I had them. I didn't use them to walk around the room though. I just wore hospital socks to walk around. I am bringing my own towel. This is just like an older towel that um, we have here at my house. Um, nothing special. It's just something from home that um, I think... I'll enjoy having my own towel that's like a little thicker. Yes, the towel was very nice to have. Um, the hospital that I went to didn't have that bad of towels, so I used their towels as well, as well, but it was nice to have my own towel from home. Also bringing a blanket. This is our little R2-D2 blanket. Our baby is born, um, well, her due date. Yes, used the blanket, loved it. I like that it's the blanket that we brought was kind of thin, but it was warm, so bring a nice blanket. Um, also like a pillowcase, and then I'll grab my pillow. Yes, use the pillow, use the pillowcase. You want your own from home, trust me. I am also bringing an eye mask. I like sleeping with an eye mask. I also have earplugs in here. Yes, bring an eye mask. So good, I was so glad I had that. I didn't use the earplugs, um, although I should have used them. I just didn't even think about them because there were a lot of annoying noises, but sometimes the nurses come in and need to talk to you, so I don't know if you really, I don't know. They might, you might have to take them out a lot. But yeah, the eye mask was great. I loved having that. And as far as clothing goes for me while I'm in the hospital, um, I have these two sleep bras. I just got these on Amazon. Um, I am happy to link them below if you guys are curious. Um, it came in a pack of four and it was like 25 bucks or something, less than $30. Love these bras. They were so worth the like $25 that they were on Amazon and they are so comfortable and easy to sleep in, easy to nurse in. So I definitely wore these in the hospital. They were awesome. And I wore both of them. I didn't just want to bring one. I brought two and I'm so glad I did. Um, while I'm in the hospital, I'm thinking I'm going to really just want to be in like a comfy, comfy nightgown. Okay, in the hospital, I just stayed in the hospital gown the whole time. I mean, I showered and got a new gown, but I just would, I would just say, just stay in the hospital gown. It's comfortable. It gives um, the doctors and nurses the like flexibility to check you because they have to check you all the time. Like, especially if you had a C-section, they check your incision site and all that stuff. Sorry, the light just changed, so I don't know if 
like what's going on, but the lighting is changing, so bear with me on that. But like I said, just wear the hospital gown. I mean, I don't know why I brought clothes, to be honest, other than the robe. The robe was super comfy and I loved it. I loved having the robe to put over the hospital gown when people came over. Um, but yeah, just wear the hospital gown. Like, don't, I mean, maybe bring one outfit to go home in, but you really don't need to, <laughs> you don't need to bring a bunch of clothes. However, that nightgown that I showed, I wear all the time still <laughs> because it's great for postpartum. So good for nursing, so comfortable to sleep in. So it's still, I still really enjoy having it. And I also got these from Walmart, these little slipper socks with the um, grips on the bottom. These were like five bucks. They're so comfy. And I just thought these would be so, so comfy to have at the hospital and they were five bucks. So when I'm done at the hospital, I'll just toss them. I think I wore those once. Um, I just, I didn't really need slippers to be honest. Uh, that was like on everyone's list of what to bring to the hospital, but I just wore the hospital socks and it was good. I think maybe I wore them to walk around the hospital like one of the last days we were there, but I just, I ended up just throwing them away when we got home because they just had hospital germs all over them, I felt like, so I just was like, I just threw them away, but they were only five bucks, so I was like, whatever. This is the one place where I feel like I might not wear one of these outfits because um, I just don't know how I'm going to be feeling. Um, I brought my... Lululemon Align leggings, which are so, so comfortable. And then with the leggings, I have this just comfy shirt um, and a little cardigan. It's not very cold right now, but I think I might have, like having a little cardigan, like long sweater to cover my leggings. Um, and then if that's not, if I'm not feeling the leggings, then I have this just big, maxi dress it's not big it's just you know a long maxi dress it's just black because i figure black is probably best for this um situation that we're gonna be in because i don't know how much i'm gonna be bleeding or whatever so i tend to gravitate towards all the darker clothes okay so i didn't wear the leggings even though i could have they're super comfortable but i just thought because I had a c-section I was just nervous about putting anything on it like around that area so I actually didn't wear any leggings or anything for the first week or so because I just yeah was nervous so I just wore like gowns or dresses um so that maxi dress was perfect I actually wore that to the hospital and then I just wore it home with the cardigan that green cardigan I wore that over it because it was kind of cold and rainy when we left so yeah didn't need to bring the leggings and the t-shirt, but I'm glad I brought them because maybe if I would have had a vaginal birth, I would have liked wearing those home. Um, two nursing camis. So um, I might wear both of these. I might not. I might just wear one of them. I didn't wear either of them. And I have heard all about the hospital mesh underwear, but um, if I don't feel like wearing that, I did get a package of um, Depends. So... I have these um, and I'll just be bringing two or three of those if I feel like wearing them. Didn't use those. They were a little tight on me to be honest. I got the small but I just felt like they weren't tight on my waist. They just felt like tight on my butt. <laughs> Maybe because my butt grew like a lot when I was pregnant but I just felt like just granny panties were more comfortable and the hospital mesh underwear that was the most comfortable with just a big pad in it so that's what I stuck with. I'm also bringing a bag, just a little garbage sack to store dirty clothes that I want to take home. That was a good idea. Bring a garbage sack so you can put the dirty clothes in. My sister told me that she really liked having compression underwear at the, and I don't know if this is like something I'll wear at the hospital. I think I'm going to bring one of these to the hospital just in case I'm not digging the mesh underwear or the Depends. I didn't wear any of these. Um, I don't think I wore this particular compression underwear until I was like a month postpartum and my belly had gone down more. Um, I have my boppy, so I'm definitely gonna bring that. That was helpful. I'm glad I brought that. It's very helpful to have a boppy when you're first nursing. I used it for the first week and then I didn't use it 
at all until this past week. And Ray now sits in it or um, kind of lays on it and does her little tummy time. I'm just bringing two outfits um, for like when she leaves with us. And um, there's this one, my sister-in-law got her this outfit and it's a newborn size. Oh my gosh, And it has guys. the little, um, these outfits are so small. That is the outfit that we used uh, to take her home in. And I remember it was really big on her. So cute. And I also have this little, and I'm not sure like what to have her wear on her head, but either like a little hat. She wore that hat. Or I thought this little, um, and she wore that uh, in her headband first with photo. the little rose was super cute. Okay, it is just not my day for good filming. The focus has been driving me nuts, and um, my camera battery just died. My memory card was too full. Anyway, I just wasn't prepared. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my list up here. Um, I still have this list from when I went to the hospital. And I'm going to show you what I had written down that I brought. And I'm just going to go through real quick. And I know we've kind of already talked about this, but I'm going to go through real quick and just talk about what I didn't end up bringing or um, what I didn't end up using. So the top of my list, I have AirPods. I brought my AirPods. I didn't actually use them, but I, I think I still would have brought them just in case. Um, I brought my camera and accessories for the camera. Um... I think I ended up charging my battery, so I was glad I had that. Um, I brought a long phone charger, which was great. Hairbrush, hair pick, all great things. Makeup, didn't really need makeup. If I would have just brought an eyelash curler, we'd, we would have been good. Um, I brought a mirror, I didn't need that because I didn't really put on makeup. Brought glasses, pillow, I was really happy to have my own pillow. Um, slippers, um, I didn't bring my own water bottle and I was really sad. Um, I would have really liked to have that because mine is, it's a thermos, so it keeps things really cold, keeps water really cold, and then um, it has a straw and I really like drinking out of a straw. My hospital did give us like a big water bottle with a straw, but I felt like it didn't keep ice cold. Like it didn't keep the water cold for very long. So I would have liked to have my, have my own water bottle, which I forgot. Um, okay, then everything else on this list, uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, all that kind of stuff. We already went through all this. I didn't bring the razor. I mean, I didn't use the razor. Um, I didn't really use my skincare stuff that I brought. I washed my face, I think, once. I know that sounds so bad, but um, I washed my face once or twice, and then I think I used moisturizer as well. So I didn't need toner and eye cream and all that other stuff that I brought. So I'm pretty sure I used everything else except the undies and the, you know, leggings and t-shirt, the stuff that we've already talked about. Um, I didn't bring snacks. I forgot to bring snacks. They're on my list, but I forgot to bring them. And, uh, that kind of sucked, but I just had my sister bring me a couple bars and then I ended up really enjoying those <laughs> when I was in the early stages of labor. Other than that, I ended up just eating most of the hospital food once I was, uh, you know, past delivery. Uh, I didn't mind the hospital food too much. It was, I would say it was like hit or miss. Um, some of the meals were pretty good and some were like really gross, <laughs> but I did really fall in love with Jello while I was there. I do not like Jello, but for some reason, the couple days postpartum, Jello was amazing. And the hospital breakfast food was also really good. They had this like that veggie casserole that was so good. It was just eggs and like peppers and um, mushrooms and a little cheese on top. That was so, so good. I think it even had zucchini in it. Anyway, it was delicious. Everything else, like the dinners were just okay. So as far as Ray goes, I didn't bring too much for her. I felt like I brought enough. Um, but I think I maybe brought like too many socks and stuff like that because she was just in a hospital blanket and a little hospital onesie top. They don't really have onesies. They have just like t-shirt things like the tops of onesies they're weird anyway she was in that hospital blanket and a hat the whole time um and she looked kind of homeless to be honest but she was just so fresh and cute and knew that I don't think we cared and we were just so tired um so she wore her outfit to go home 
with a little hat and a blanket that we brought. Um, but other than that, like we didn't, she didn't really need much. So I'm glad I didn't pack too much for her. So I would say definitely don't pack a lot for the baby. We did bring an arms up swaddle and that was helpful to have the first night, but I think that's the only time she's ever worn that before we actually learned how to swaddle her um, with her arms down. We never have really swaddled her with her arms up except for that one time because <laughs> we just didn't know what to do and what she would like and stuff like that. So it was helpful to have that, but I don't think you should go out and buy the arms up swaddle if you don't think you're going to need it. All right, you guys, that is it for my list of things I actually used from my hospital bag. Be sure to check out Life with Lil's video so you can see what she actually used in her hospital bag. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>